We've been here with the perfect managers and we've seen relatively good success. Well, today we've got three managers and they are the worst possible. And we've lost them at three of the best clubs in Europe. Man City, PSG and Bayern Munich. Let's watch the world burn over 50 years while they hopefully get relegated. Let's go find out how it goes. Here we go then, we've got Otto Schneider at Bayern Munich with ones for everything. Of course, we've got frozen attributes and a transfer to Saudi Arabia in 2073. So 50 years, where they're going to be there. Darren Carter at Manchester City, again, awful attributes. As you can see, I've got them all there, to be fair. And Pierre Boucher, didn't mean that to rhyme. It was just a name that was in the game. There we go, Pierre Boucher, ones for everything. And so we're going to see them flounder with their current teams they probably do all right to begin with because they've got very good squads but then will they get will they manage to keep the players there and will they manage to keep the transfers or make good transfers should i say so we're going to go let, well, I'll tell you what, we'll go five years to begin with we're not going one year there's no point we'll go five years to begin with and see how we're getting on in 2028 because it might be a bit of a different lay of the land in some of those domestic leagues we'll see okay so bundesliga Bayern munich won it in the first season as per as predicted, I think they probably win it all five seasons, really. Maybe once they won't. There we go. Leipzig have won it in the fourth season. Bayern have won it back. I mean, 22 points they've won it by there. So, yeah. They've not won the league. They've not won the cup, though. They've not won the domestic cup. They've won... So it's been Cologne, Leipzig, Leverkusen twice, and Dortmund. And four league titles for them. Are we doing a scoreboard? I don't think we're going to bother doing a scoreboard. Because it's not about how much teams win. It's about how low down the pyramid they fall over 50 years. And the winner will be the one that does the worst. In a weird sort of paradox. By Munich squad then. Still got Harry Kane. They've got Florian Wirtz who came in. He came in for free. Oh my God. What a signing that was. Still got Delict. They've got Romeo Lavia. He came for £173 million. Okay. Ansu Fati for £55 million. Bit of a bargain. A lot of a bargain, to be fair. Levi Colwill, 16.5 million from Al Sad. So Al Sad bought him early doors for 20 million pounds. What? What on earth were Chelsea smoking in this experiment? Sold him for 20 million pounds. A player that's got 170 potential ability. Insane. And then Sadio Abe made a blue loss on him. Uh, Kane, Kim Menji, uh, Leroy Sane is still there. Uh, we've, we've not got Jamal Musiala. Jamal Musiala's left the building. The team looks pretty good, though. They've brought some good players in. They've probably lost some of their better players. I mean, obviously, some of them have retired. Where's Jamal Musiala gone? He's actually gone to Man City, funnily enough, for £283 million. He's actually wanted by PSG now. He could do the trifecta. £283 million two seasons ago for Manchester City in a city. Aston Villa! He's already gone mental. 50 years we've got this experiment, and I might have simulated a little bit further. Can't remember. But Aston Villa have won the Premier League in season three. What? Vincent Company. And they've won the Champions League in 1982. They have not won the Champions League in this experiment. So, how long has Vinnie Comp been there? Sorry, we, we, we've gone off piece here. So, Unai Emery left to go and become the manager of Inter Milan. Right. Vincent Company has come in. He's won three cups as well. Carabao Cup, Community Shield and the Europa League. He won the Premier League with Aston Villa. Has he got any more? Gonzalo Flores is a 21-year-old that they bought from River. And he's a potential 190. I'm not seeing too many players that they've bought in. Have they sold any? They've not really sold that many players. Not for massive money. He won the Premier League. I can't believe Aston Villa have won the Premier League. So Man City won it three out of the five times. Arsenal won it most recently. Man managed by Pep because Mikel Arteta got sacked a couple of years ago. But Manchester City have won three out of five Premier Leagues. Okay? And they've also won two FA Cups. Two for Arsenal and one for Spurs. And the Manchester City squad is... I mean, we've seen Jamal Musial. They've still got Phil Foden, Erling Haaland... But Guardiola, they bought Kvachkelia, Ruben Diaz, uh, Yomi Pino's gone there, he's gone out of silver, he's on the cusp of retirement, probably 33, probably going to go to Saudi, he's wanted probably, Saudi. Jamie Doku's still there, they've got a few players, Nico Ravella, they've bought some good players in, Julian Alvarez, and they've not lost too many of their players. Jack Grealish has just gone to Saudi Arabia for a lot of money, to be fair. I mean, I guess they kind of needed to and they just spent nearly 300 million on Jamal Musiala. Probably worth it. Probably worth it. 136 on Kovac Kelia. 69 on Yomi Pino. Brian Cristante, 104 million pounds, who's now at Ajax. 104 million pounds and he played quite a lot for Man City, to be fair. And then he went to Ajax for 9.75. I mean, yeah, okay, a season ago he'd have been 32, but what? I mean, that's a horrific bit of business, isn't it? Horrendous. And you sold John Stones, Kyle Walker, Mateus Nunes for £8 million to Bayern. I mean, in real life, 
I mean, look at the state of this. 38.5, 53, and 8 million. I mean, that was a um, was real life transfer, wasn't it? He played 23 times for them that season. A lot of them off the bench, and then he got sold for 8 million. He's not very good in the selling department. He's, but then in the buying department, they've not done too bad. But we've just seen Bayern Munich sell Jamal Musiala for nearly 300 million. So I don't know, we're all over the place. Good France. I'm sure PSG have won the league all four times. They've still got Kylian Mbappe at the French Cup. They've only won it once. Lorient, two for Nice, and one for Lille. At the squad, Mbappe, Agate, Victor Ross they've bought in how much was he F- free they've done some fantastic deals and some horrific deals they've bought Gurakarez 71 million pounds Alejandro Garnaccio 105 mil a uh, play they've got Javi Sammons uh, kept him they've bought in uh, Inacio 51 million pounds Amiga Dad's favourite player free from Al Ali no one else is jumping out at me if I've missed some people uh, do let me know in the comments I apologise um, I've got to try and I mean, 50 years we've got to reel through this we're already 10 minutes into the record just looking to see if there's anything really worth noting here Pedro Gonsalves from Sporting for 69 million pounds there and I'm not too sure I mean Garnaccio from United yes we've discussed that they just sold Colo Muani to Barcelona for 85 million pounds is that a real transfer or was that in the game I think that was in the game maybe not for God's sake can someone who's won a champ- Aston Villa have won a Champions League right Champions League in the last five years so Bayern Munich and Man City have both won a Champions League with the bad managers three for Real Madrid actually which is uh, interesting who Real Madrid got Jude Bellingham Endrick Vinicius G- oh what a, a, a Cam of Binger, Rodrigo, Valverde, Chuanameni. I mean, they've got. A, I mean, this is all players they got in real life anyway. So it's not. No, no one's really come in. Papa meccano has gone in. Um, Mark Gehi, Gehi, Gehi. Argu- Argu- is there in real life. Zinchenko. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, so it's 2028, and how far do we go into the future? Because we do need to rattle through this in a reasonable pace. Do we go 10 years to, 20, uh, to 2030? I think we do. Yeah, let's go 10 years. They might still be in and amongst it, the teams, in the Champions League sort of places, but I think they will have stopped winning the leagues. Generally do. I think we go to... We'll go back to Germany first. And we're looking over here at past winners then, and we were last here, and Bayern Munich won it for another couple of years, then Leipzig again, then Bayern, then Leipzig again. And Bayern have won it once, and then it's been Leipzig, and three in a row for Dortmund. Sergio Conte Sau in charge there. Bayern Munich, of course. Florian Verts is still there at 35 years old. It's just all about the regens. Oh, Endrick, £230 million they paid for Real- Endrick from Real Madrid. That's a lot of money. And their players are not world-class. Some of them have the potential to be, but it's not the Bayern Munich you, you come to expect, is it? And I feel like they have spent, I mean, they've just spent £101 million on this goalkeeper. Okay, he's very good. He's a 178 goalkeeper. Worth £100 million? I mean, I mean, yeah. Good goalkeepers are hard to find, and he looks fantastic. I mean, look at his shot stopping. One-on-ones at 20. I really like the look of him. That's a good signing. But they've spent quite big on some of these players. I mean, like Sai, Sai Yu Zhen. I mean, what the hell is that? £74 million on a player that's got a 154 potential. I mean, yeah, obviously, the AI doesn't know this, but I mean, look, what's this? What's what's this for a sort of positional um, system? He's, his attributes are very subpar. He's been, he's been overpaid for throughout his career. Aston Villa did not do much with him and managed to make a huge profit. And then Inter made even bigger profit. Rowan Preslin, now he's not too bad from Chelsea. 177, that's a bit more fair at £67 million. Pounds. I'll accept that. I mean, he's gone to Dortmund now. He buy and bought him for £49.5 million pounds and sold him after b- barely playing him to Dortmund for £28 million, who have played him as a, as a squad option, although he played 16 times last season, in a league-winning season. So, a complete waste of money for Bayern Munich. He's not great, he's not terrible. Bayern Munich are on the decline. Let's have a quick look actually at the Bundesliga. Where have Bayern Munich... Let's have a look at... Where have Bayern Munich... Let's have a look at where they've finished in recent times. So they've been in the top three. Top three every season. Okay. They haven't won a German Cup. 28-29 they won it and they haven't won it since. Leipzig have won quite a few. Oh no, sorry. 36-37 they did win it. Got to the final a lot. Still doing very well Bayern Munich. Okay. Every division then. And look at that. Man City nowhere to be seen. 20-30-31 Man City won it. And Duran Wiggins-Thomas... So he's been bought for £93 million from Leicester at 550 k He is... He's 30 years old now. Potential ability of 197. He's never made it. He's never made his potential ability, which is a bit disappointing, really. He's 23, and he's got potential ability of 193. He's got the potential to make it, but probably won't. £625,000. They're spending a lot on wages on Manchester City, as you can see here. And if we look at the competitions, they... Oh my God, they finished 12th the other season. They have finished 9th. That's outside of Europe. They have finished inside Europe recently. 
but they've been they're, they're massively on the decline on Manchester City and no oh, an FA Cup there in 2036-37 so it was by Munich so 36-37 is not too bad beating West Ham in the final look at this Leeds winning one against Leicester Hull in the final against Newcastle Southampton Birmingham Fulham so many random teams here Aston Villa Marco Rose is now in charge there's Vincent Kompany He's the manager of Newcastle. He was the ma- he was manager of Tottenham, manager of Belgium. He didn't just come to Newcastle, to be fair. He's actually been that successful since he left Aston Villa. Won Europa League. I thought he did a lot more. Well, there you go then. So let's go to a look at the French Cup. And PSG have won a couple of French Cups, finally. Warren Zaire Emery is still at PSG, so they've kept hold of him. In terms of, oh, it's Marseille. Marseille have taken over for literally 10 years. PSG have been second all the way, though. So they are still getting Champions League football. Have they won a Champions League? No, they haven't. Well, there we go then. Pierre Boucher is now a legend. The worst manager in the world is a legend at the club. In terms of transfers more recently, I mean, we're not going to be able to do this every single time. Is there anyone sticking out? Ibrahim Asol from Norwich is £69 million. Not well spent. Absolute shambles of a transfer, that one. Very recently. 20 games, one goal. All off the bench. But it says 33 appearances of PSG. I'm not sure why. I don't know why they played him at left back once. Someone. 16 finishing. I mean, do you know what? He doesn't look terrible. I'm 18 composure, 16 off the ball. Good pace. I mean, one goal in 20 substitute appearances is not very good. He might be playing him as a right midfielder, which I think would be a mistake. He's got good pace, not great dribbling. His crossing and dribbling is probably a bit low for me for playing as a winger. Decent first touch and technique, but when you've got your green attributes of finishing, composure, off the ball, it, you've got those three better than your dribbling, crossing and first touch. And you can play both wing and up front. In my opinion, should be playing up front. His heading's not great and his jumping reach, so he is a bit small for being a forward. But I don't know. Norwich paid £53 million pounds for him. Oh, there's so there's 20 games for PSG on loan and he got two goals. Bloody hell, he's not done well, has he, old Ibrahim Asol? If I've just com- questioned about the 33 games. If you guys saw this in the other screen, and you're already in the comments I commend you I deserve the abuse for my lack of attention to detail well we're 15 years into the experiment and we're starting to see a bit of a change of the guard the the teams are starting to fall down their respective leagues I think Man City are going to fall down the the hardest and the fastest because of how competitive the Premier League is. PSG is still clinging, clinging on to second. Uh, so we're going to go through another 10 years now. It's going to be 25 years into the experiment and it'll be 2048. All real people will have ceased to exist. In terms of players, that is. I mean, some of them might have become managers. Got a bit dark, that did. So anyway, let's, I forgot Ralph Watch. I forgot Ralph Watch. Let's hope he's still about. He's not. Of course he's not. Should have done it at the five-year mark. Oh, well, never mind. Ralph Watch is not to be today. And I'll tell you why it's not. Because I've I've refused to do the Ralph Watch because over 60% of you guys that are watching this video are not subscribed. You can't rely on YouTube recommending these videos in the homepage. Get subscribed. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much. Let's go to 2048. Look at this. Harry Smith is the best, best potentially rated player on the game. And for Norwich. Norwich City, who was 16th in the Premier League. The Man City are still in the Premier League, and as you can see from the past winners in the last 10 years, it has been, well, not Man City, has it? Liverpool, United, Arsenal, Newcastle won a couple. Mikel Arteta was there, Peter Gill, Vincent Kompany, there he is. He's now the manager of Atletico Madrid, he's been at Arsenal. He's been at Atletico Madrid six years. He's won the Champions League with Atletico Madrid, wow, look at that. Newcastle won the Champions Leagues as well, so no Champions Leagues in the last few years for any of our teams. And Leeds with an FA Cup there, beating Manchester City in the final. Man City did win an FA Cup in 2041-42. And where are they then, Man City? In terms of the competition, domestic leagues, oh, they're in the bottom half. They finished 15th um, the other season in 41-42. Was that the season they won the FA Cup as well? Their lowest position, also a trophied season. I've not been checking the Carabao Cup, but... You know, it is what it is. Who cares? Uh, l- bottom half, they've snuck ninth twice in the last like six or seven years. So I think by the time we come back again, which is probably another 10 years, is almost certainly going to have them finishing even lower and potentially being relegated. What's their squad saying? I mean, look at this. They've got Suiliton, who's 33 years old, who probably was at his potential of 190-odd. He came for 20.5 million early doors. Oh, we saw him last time didn't we we did see him here he's five away at 33 i think he probably did get there but then next you got 185 for lucas feely he came through the youth academy bloody hell the regen faces are so bad aren't they nearly swore then nearly swore <laughs> decent enough potential but unfortunately the actual current ability of the squad it's a little bit wavering a little bit wanting isn't it and i can see why they've not won too much 
in recent times and why they've been finishing so low down. In terms of the Bundesliga, well, Bayern Munich are still in the top division. They haven't won the league in the last 10 years. They have finished second a couple of times and they have finished third a couple of times, but they have finished outside the top four on multiple occasions, which is very satisfying to see. Wolfsburg with one, Leipzig, Dortmund and Leverkusen sharing the rest of them around. In terms of Bayern Munich, then let's have a look at the competitions and the Bundesliga. Uh, last season, they finished four, uh, 11th, which is really bad. They finished fourth a lot. So when they finished outside the top four up top three they've been fourth they've never finished lower than fourth except last season where they finished 11th which was really bad really really bad and i can see why look at that their team is abysmal they are they've they've lost it they've absolutely lost it whether have they sold players or have a lot of players retired the finn van dam retired he played a lot for bayern munich so, so in the last three seasons not many people have retired They've, they've bought as well. They've bought in quite handsomely. Derbaz, Baron... I don't know. Why have I chosen this guy? He's not very good. Baron Lioglu. There, I said it. For all of you in the comments that say I bottle it, some of the pronunciations, I do not. I go for it. No, you're trolling. They've sold... They've let players go. I don't know if some of these players that have gone out on a free have actually been good players as well. Just didn't want to renew their qu contract. Quite possibly. But Bayern Munich are... Way down, way down in terms of the league. And they've won a cup in 43-44 and in 39-40. But Bayern Munich are also doing pretty badly as well as Manchester City. In terms of the French league, well, after Marseille's dominance, it became Lyon and Rennes in the last nine years, sharing the trophies between them. Three for Rennes, five for Lyon in the last eight years. Sorry, I do apologise. PSG have been in the top three in that time, though, unfortunately. A bit disappointing, really. The lowest they finished is seventh, from what I can see here. A couple of sevenths, a sixth. But they've, they've been getting Champions League football. They have been getting Champions League football. They've also won a couple of... Well, one French trophy. Their squad isn't bad, is it? Isn't bad. They've got Nicolas Sommer who's 28 and he's peak, he's a very good player. £164 million from Borussia Dortmund. Money well spent, if you ask me. Great defender. Jakob Huska. They've got some good players. Do you know, they've probably got the strongest team out of the three in the weakest league. So they're still doing pretty well. Still no Champions League, though. Still no Champions League. Man City have won a Europa League here. Thought I'd go and check the Europa League. PSG runner up there against Leeds in the final. West Ham beating Liverpool. And Leeds winning a Conference League there. Not a lot really to report on. Okay, so we're going to go through another 10 years now to 2058. And we're going to see if any of the three managers have been relegated. PSG will not have been, almost certainly. Unless they fall away massively, they almost certainly won't do. Man City and Bayern Munich quite possibly could have. So yeah, let's go and have a look. Right, so we're going to go, we're going, we're going to France first because I think PSG are still the best team. And they're look, still, still finishing in the top three. Although it was second and it was a long time ago. We'll have a quick look at the competitions. Okay, they've been finishing fifth and sixth. And last season was the season, wasn't it? They finished 12th we'll have a quick look at their squad and that is started oh wow that's really starting to fall away that's really bad we've got a couple that is, i was looking at i was like oh it's not too bad 168 153 and then bang we're down in the 130s this is this is horrendous from back for um psg and they've let players go like christoph nicholson for 86 million pounds he was a good player Young, good player as well. They've made a massive profit on him, to be fair. But they've, obviously, a lot of players have been released, let go. It'd be too hard to go through everyone and sort of see where they've made certain mistakes. But we've seen some good and some bad transfer dealings. But they've over, they've spent big on players. They very rarely, unless they've been buying players from each other, got a bargain. They've, they've spent big and they've sold poorly. A lot of the players have been going for a lot less than they should have been worth. So we're going to go to... We'll go to the Bundesliga and well there you go then in terms of the past winners past round between leipzig and dortmund and there you go fc bayern are in the bundesliga how long have they been in the bundesliga too i hear you ask well i'm going to find that out for you right this second oh they've just got relegated last season finishing 17th on 19 points that's really bad they finished bottom magdeburg got 12 points oof Pretty rubbish. They probably will come back. They probably will come back up. But look at that. Oh, God. Will they come back up? What a bad squad that is. What an awful squad. They've not got loads of money either. What have they been doing transfer-wise? Uh, very little. Very little in recent times. A Munich, the first to succumb. Oh, were they? Because we've still got to check on the Premier League. And Manchester City are... Not there. There they are. They're seventh in the championship. So they've, they've played a season in the championship for a start. Oh, look at that. They, they went down in 18th in the 51-52 season. Came back up by finishing second in the championship. Then they narrowly avoided relegation. 17th. Then they came bottom. Then two seasons in a row in the playoffs. Fifth and fourth missing out 
on promotion. And the third season, this time missing out on the playoffs, finishing in seventh. The squad is better than Bayern Munich's. It is better than Bayern Munich's, but it's probably not good enough to get promoted and it's probably going to continue the decline. Selling a lot more than they've got in. Oh, wow. £212 million. This was probably when they came back down again. Um, I mean, Mbabu, £56 million. That was Porto to Norwich, that was. Man City sold him. Richard Fitzpatrick for £41 million. And maybe the season or so before... We'll see huge spends. We actually aren't. Man City, oh my God, £13.5 million transfers in, £194 million out. Wow. Man City have not done great in the transfer market and they're in the championship. I don't think Man City are going to go back up. I think it's going to be a steady decline even further. I think PSG are going to go down in these next 10 years. Bayern Munich will probably go up and down a little bit in the German motion and relegation places, but I think we'll find them next time we're back in 10 years' time. In Bundesliga 2, I think Man City might be in League 1, and I think PSG might be in uh, League 2. So there's only 15 years left of the experiment. So we're going to go through to the end of 2073 at this juncture because I don't want to come back for just five years at the very end. So we're going to go through to 2073 and see where they end up with the managers before they leave. Okay. The transferring on the 1st of the 7th, 2073. Resigned as manager of... Hang on. Let's have a look here. Resigned as the manager of PSG after mutually agreeing to part ways with the board 19 days ago because he's got a future transfer. Same same here. So w within a month. Yeah, there you go. Relegated in 2055. So it looks like he didn't get relegated again. So spoilers all over the place. Resigned. Okay, so we're going to go to Bayern Munich. And then the th they're in three Liga. Oh, wowzers. So in the last 15 years, we're Bayern Munich. We're in three Liga. Firstly, the squad is horrific. The competition, the domestic leagues, well, they've been down in three Liga already. They did get promoted again and they've just gone back down, finishing 17th. So they're in the third tier of Germany. The worst manager in the world has taken Bayern Munich from European powerhouse and Bundesliga dominators to three Liga minnows. And an embarrassment to the city. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? But I mean, I imagine the, 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 the fall from grace over these 50 years. If you had like a young child that was done to support Bayern Munich now in 2023 and Otto Schneider was in charge and this happened, you'd be like, you'd get to like in your 50s, you'd be like, I don't know what happened to Bayern Munich. Devastated. So there we go then. So there's, there's Bayern Munich. Darren Carter and Manchester City. Well, they are in the championship. They are in the championship. And if we look at the competitions then, as you can see, they've been mid-table. They did finish 20th one season, which was narrowly avoiding relegation. That is that is as bad as it got, really. They've become mid-table championship side. A mid-table championship side with a mid-table championship squad, to be fair. Uh, not a lot really to, to, to say on the, on the matter. Has anyone else been in the championship and won it that's unusual? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Who's won the Premier League then? So we've had Nor Norwich have won a Premier League. We did see a, a great player at Norwich. And I wondered if Norwich were going to kick on and do quite well. They finished third quite a few times here. I've just pointed at the screen like you guys can see. There we go. There's the cursor. There we go. Norwich three times third there. Then he finished third again. But it was, a, what, about eight years until he finally won it. Then he finished second and third in... Uh, sorry, third, then second in the following seasons. Arsenal and Tottenham have shared around most of the league titles. Liverpool have won a couple. Leicester have got another one, as you can see. A Champions League for Leicester in 2069. Nice. In terms of Champions Leagues, well, it's been Real Madrid, Arsenal. Atletico Madrid had a good spell. Uh, a few good spells. Uh, Barcelona, Tottenham. No one massively out of the ordinary. No one massively out of the ordinary, indeed. Europa Leagues, uh, Leicester, Newcastle, Norwich, Millwall in 2073. Runner up. Where are Millwall? They're in the Premier League. They've been in the Premier League for a long time, to be fair. They've obviously won a trophy and got themselves into the Europa League. Probably the FA Cup. Go on, lads. Um, and finally, uh, Pierre Boucher, who's left PSG in Liga. He's left them in Liga. They've been relegated once in this experiment in 2068 69. But they bounced back, finishing second in league de. so yeah the most successful was psg least successful was Bayern munich and um, middle of the range was manchester city in terms of the trophies they won it's much of a muchness isn't it i think psg might have actually won another french cup 
um, over the last 15, 20 years. Yeah, there you go, 19 years ago. So that is that. Those managers are off. Can Bayern Munich, PSG or Man City recover? They've got no money, uh, no money coming in, no, no no benefits. They've just got a deal, just got to play the hand they're dealt at this moment in time. But we have simulated on to 2080 something. I think it's about 15, 16 years. So let's go have a quick look and just check in finally, just to see, has a manager come in and helped them bring back some success? I think... Success would be Bayern Munich maybe being back in the Bundesliga, Man City being back in Europe in the Premier League, and PSG winning a league. There, there's the goal. They are all relative to where they got to. It's 2088 and 15 years, it is. So, Premier Division then, and we do not have a Manchester City. We've got Hull City in fifth. We've also won a Europa League on their travels. Oh, so so we do we do have Man City. They are in fourteenth. They are back in the Premier League. So let's have a look at the domestic leagues then. And they've just come back up. They did they did come back up in 2078-79, got relegated straight away, came back up a few years later, again via the playoffs. And it's been <laughs> safe but lower mid table. So they haven't had enough time to sort of get themselves back into Europe, unfortunately for them. Bundesliga. I mean, oh, FC Bayern haven't even made it out of the three league. They're there. They, oh, so they have. They've been promoted. FC Bayern have been promoted. They've been up and down. They've yo-yoed. They've yo-yoed in the last 15 years. But they've been in Bundesliga 2 probably about as much as they've been in three league. They've actually... when they, they, they were in Bundesliga 2 again for a few years. They came down and yo-yoed a bit. But then they, since they came down to three league at, uh, three or four years ago... Four years ago, they've not come back up, and it's just just this just this season now where they've got promoted. They've scraped promotion in third. The Bayern Munich have not done very well. Can PSG save us at this point? I don't think I want them to. They're in thirteenth. Lille have won the league and have Leon. The PSG haven't won anything either in that time. Where have they been finishing? They actually got relegated again. They've just come back up, and they've had one season successfully. Up here, so they actually got relegated again for the second time in the experiment, even with the, even with a better manager in charge. Pierre Boucher is a legend for PSG, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Where's Man City? Darren Carter is also a legend at Manchester City, which again I think is absolutely hilarious. Bundesliga, so go down to the third, third tier. Bayern Munich. Otto Schneider once again is a club legend. So I think longevity regardless of success makes you a club legend because 50 years with a, a, a good nice little bit of success early doors in the first 10 for all the clubs and then 40 years of mediocrity depression dismal form and ultimately losing and relegations still a club legend so there we go that's the worst managers on the game i found that quite fun to be honest in a sort of very perverse kind of way if you like this let me know in the comments down below and we might do this with some more teams or we might do some other variations of manager related things i think there's quite a few different things that we want to sort of look in on and sort of check on as we go forward with the experiments but yes thank you very much for watching if you're still here and you haven't subscribed please do so go and watch this video that youtube is throwing up there to say that it is the most relevant to you you've already seen it go and have a look at something else on the channel but without further ado gang that is it thank you very much for watching do take good care of yourselves i'll see you soon